What is going on guys? I'm Charlene Radlett and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing my five minute get ready with me makeup routine. So I decided I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna have all of the links in the description for you guys if you wanna check out any of the products that I referenced today. I have all of my makeup spread out to me on the right to make this a little bit easier so I'm not like scrambling through my makeup bag which is what I normally would do. We're gonna jump straight into this. I'm actually gonna set a timer, Alexa, timer five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. She's on it and it's already started. So let's jump into the first thing. Mind you, my face is already prepped. I've got moisturizer, sunscreen, all that jazz. Even though it's a cloudy day, you never skip sunscreen. You just don't. Okay, I'm talking too much. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Laura Mercier Tinted Oil-Free Moisturizer. I love this stuff. I actually got it for a photo shoot that I was doing when I was down in St. Croix and I needed a new or moisturizer for my face. I wanted to try something a little bit light, but still had a little bit of coverage in it. And this is a product that I really wanted to try. You know, it had been on my bucket list for a while. It really held up. I wore it when it was like 80 degrees outside. You know what I mean? Humid, I mean, tropical weather. And all of the images came out so good. I had to do my own hair and makeup for the shoot. And I mean, it's got really good coverage. It doesn't make me look like an oil slick. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm running out of this. I actually have another one to the, my right. I bought um, a new one just in case I run out for this video. I was like, I don't, I don't wanna be there like, ah, struggling. Also, I'm looking at myself while I'm doing this because I don't have a mirror with me. So I'm gonna be talking to you and then talking to myself and talking to you and then talking to myself. So here we go. And look how beautiful that looks. I literally look like I have a filter on my face. It is so pretty. Oh, so good, love this. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. I actually was on set uh, for a company called Fanatics, which is a um, jersey company, like sports jerseys and that kind of stuff. And the makeup artist had this one and I was like, oh, like, how do you feel about it? And she was just like, I mean, I'm using it all over your face and I love how it looks. I absolutely loved how my makeup looked on set. So I figured I might as well get, get this concealer. I was using their lightweight one and this one is just a little bit thicker, but it's not super, super thick. Just using it to cover up my scar and lighten up my under eyes. So I just try to even it out just a little bit and I think it covers my scar really freaking good, all things considering. I mean, I could go in there and completely color correct it, but since I've been lightening it, I've been going and getting facials. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram and I have been getting laser treatments to try to lighten it because, you know, I'm getting tired of like trying to cover it up over these years, I just find it, it's kind of annoying, you know, and people always think that I got punched in the face or something, so it's really frustrating. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier uh, setting powder. This is just like a go-to setting powder. Um, by the way, I buy everything travel size because I never know when I have to go anywhere for modeling if I have a last minute trip. And instead of buying two of the same thing, I just buy the small one, especially because you know, the setting powder is gonna literally last me forever. Set the concealer under my eye and then a little bit on my forehead because sometimes it might get a little bit glossy up there. We don't want that. Just a little bit on the nose, around here. You know, anywhere that I think might crease up a little bit. And then this is just really great. This will last forever. I don't even know if I can get it in. Oh, okay. I just poured it all over my bed. <laughs> there goes me trying to do the most, trying to do the most. Okay, next we're gonna go in for my eyes and my cheeks. So I just like to use this Hoola Benefit Mini Bronzer. I love this stuff. Again, I bought this just to try it because while I was on set, they use this a lot. But you know, when I'm on set, it's totally different than when I'm doing my makeup at home. And I never know if I'm actually gonna be using this every day. <gasps> It has been five minutes already? Okay, Alexa, stop. <laughs> I think when I edit this, it will be five minutes. So I'm gonna just narrow it down. But anyways, and I'm talking to you guys. It's a little bit hard because I'm trying to do this video and not just be like, watch me do my makeup and then you're just watching me and it's super boring. So I'm trying to entertain you guys while doing my makeup. Then it won't be five minutes, I guess. 
<laughs> then it'll be 10. Okay, so I just go in there and you see how it just kind of like brightens up my eye just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna use my little contour brush and just go in and go right here and here. And it just adds a little bit. Like what's great about this is that you can really build it up and it just adds a little a little oomph. It's nothing crazy because in modeling, I can't be walking in with like a full beat. Like that's literally, that defeats the purpose. You can't do that. And even the bronzer, sometimes I would even skip out on the bronzer. I would just wear the Laura Mercier um, mineral, you know, the Twinted Moisturizer and then the concealer. And then I would just put a little mascara on and then I'd be out the door. So I'm sprucing it up a little bit for you guys. Next, we're gonna do blush. So I have been using this Raspberry Beret blush by Merit and I absolutely love this stuff. It is so creamy. I think it's gotten so, I don't know if it's gotten awards or not. I feel like it has, but I think there's also like a cult following. I know that Sarah Jessica Parker used Merit and it honestly is so pretty. I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous. It's also extremely hard to find in Sephora, we went, when I say we, my friend Hilda and I, we went to Sephora and she was like, I need a cream blush. And I was like, I got you. And we tried to find this one, sold out. So I think you have, to, if you wanna order it, you have to get it online, just throwing it out there. But look how pretty it is. Like I only dabbed a little bit of it and it just adds such a healthy glow to your face. It's like I got a little bit of sun kissed. Ah, oh, so pretty. Now I'm gonna go into the eyes. I'm actually gonna use a eyeliner. And what I do is that I use the eyeliner and I use it on the top inner part of my eyelids. So I just lift it up and just do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And I like it because as I blink, it's gonna just come down here on my waterline and I don't want to go in with an eyeliner on my waterline and the reason for that is going to just look too dolled up. Whenever I put it on the top part, the top lids, it just adds a nice warmth to my eyes. I don't really know how to explain it. I think this was like $5. It's so cheap and it works really well. Next, I'm going to go in for the mascara. This, is, this one is by Merit as well. I, I've been really enjoying Merit's products. Um, I've been using them now for a little over two months, I wanna say. And actually my mascara is about to run out and I have to go get another one because it's just starting to dry out. You can kind of see it on the corner here. But I really like this mascara because it's very light and I need to concentrate. It just has a beautiful way of like fanning out the lashes. Like, look at that. Look at the before and after. Before, ah, wait, before. <laughs> after you know it's just so pretty so i'm gonna do this side so beautiful look how nice that is it's so pretty it just really opens up the eye and just gives it a very like very natural feeling next i'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows this one is also by Merit, and this is their eyebrow gel i don't know i don't even know what it's called i, I just know that it's for the eyebrows i just go in and brush them up and a little out there we go i just really like how this just adds a little bit of tint i love the packaging actually on it it's like it's gold and it's beautiful and i love gold so there's that all right and then last but not least we have the lips so i'm going to boost it up just a little bit i'm actually going to use this uh charlotte tillsbury um pillow talk medium liner really quick So there we go. And then I'm just gonna go in the Merit lip gloss and this is Marrakesh. I freaking love this stuff so much. It's so pretty. And that was one pump. Literally, I just took it out and that's what it did. And that's it. And that wraps up my go-to five minute out the door makeup. It took a little bit longer because I'm explaining everything to you and I didn't want you to just watch me, but there it is, okay? So now I just let the hair out. See if I can spruce it up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. And then I'd be out the door. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, all the things. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys with the next one. See ya.